Our teachers are in our labs with us, really like in our face, asking us questions. about. We have a pool of employers that specifically seek our graduates. We give them the building blocks here. When I turned 21, I became a truck driver and loved it and absolutely fell in love with the equipment. I became interested in heavy equipment technology a long time ago, working with my dad in equipment. I've been operating for a long time with dozers and various construction equipment. Heavy equipment technology program is a, a two-year degree program and a four-year degree program. In the two-year degree program, uh, we cover all the basic courses that will help the students be successful in industry. Some of those courses include just basic maintenance fundamentals, electronics, hydraulics, diesel engines, fuel systems, and advanced courses in the second in the four year would be advanced hydraulics, failure analysis, and advanced fuel systems. Fair State students should take heavy equipment technology into consideration because of the needs in the marketplace these days. Our employers typically are seeking more advanced skills, both technically and interpersonal communication skills. The well-rounded education that you get at a university serves quite well into positions that are advanced technical and beginning management for the industry needs that are out there today. I like the hands-on best about this program. We're tearing down an engine all the way down to the bare block and then going to try to put it back together again and also tearing down a transmission. That's very interesting. I just really like to see how all the parts go together and how everything works and operates. It's, it's amazing to me how everything fits together and, and makes things run. This program, um, I guess the hands-on, we have a lot of labs, not so much lecture. Um, our teachers are in our labs with us, really like in our face, asking us questions about the little stuff that most people wouldn't see. We'd just tear it off and put it back on, nobody would understand it. Some of the activities that students get involved in are both lecture and labs, and we have a, a, usually three hours of lecture for each class a week and three hours of lab for each class a week. So depending on the semester, students may be involved in 16 hours of lab a week. In those labs, what we do is we create experiences for the students that help, that they're going to experience when they leave here. So we try to uh, work with industry and create uh, labs, such as working on diesel engines, or working on transmissions, or working on hydraulic systems that are exactly in line with what they will be expected to do when they leave here and go out and work in industry. Right now in our engines class, I'm tearing apart a six liter international engine also seen in the Ford Power Strokes with a different fuel system. And in Power Trans class, we're right now tearing, tearing apart an eight and fuller transmission. Some of the equipment that they're gonna be exposed to coming to Ferris State, we really worked hard to upgrade our equipment that are here that uh, we have to keep it within the last seven years of age. And some of the equipment, uh, like the one behind me, this is probably 25, 30 years old, but for teaching basics, uh, this would be good enough for that. But when we get into our high end, as far as fuel injection, I think we're probably top of the line. I think we're probably within three years of uh, being current. Graduates from our program are experiencing a 100% placement rate. We have jobs available for students out there at 100%, whether it's associate's degree or bachelor's degree. One of our typical problems is we have employers that show up at our job fair thinking that they're going to pick from a list of students. We have to advise them otherwise. We have students with multiple jobs. They need to compete for them. And that helps us to develop programs like internships where if they co collaborate with a student, get an internship going, and, and work with them through three or four years, their success in employing them full time uh, greatly increases. That's the type of program that we have going with employers. Internship possibilities can include anything from working on the front line in the shop, working as a technician, working in the field as a technician, and what that means is going out and servicing equipment at the customer's job site. We've had students work in call centers where customers will call in with a problem on a product, for instance, at Eaton or Arbor Meritor or at Detroit Diesel. They'll call in and have a problem, and our students will walk them through a troubleshooting process and help, them, help the technician in the field repair the problem in the shop. Some other opportunities we've had is uh, we've had technicians working for mining companies or very large offshore drilling companies. So the opportunities are you know, endless. 
With this type of degree, you get so many things you can go into. Anything from earth moving equipment to trucks to buses. And you can specialize in electrical, engines, brakes. There's hundreds and hundreds of different opportunities with this degree. The students will get more uh, information about the heavy equipment program. They can go on our web at www.ferris.edu forward slash heavy equipment, all one word. Uh, it lists everything in our catalog. It gives some of the testimonials that are, that are there. It gives a listing of all our courses that they'd be taking. I want to emphasize visiting the school. Take a look at the school and see if that's what they want.